Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, it is Friday. Time for another edition of Friday's Fangs. It's gonna be an interesting edition. Only have one unbox, one thing to unbox here right now. But I got, I have a collection of things that by themselves, anyway, it's gonna, it's gonna be a little different because I'm not gonna be moving from one product to the next right here. I've already shot the videos and I've loaded them to Amazon and I'm gonna take those little short two minute videos and I'm gonna group them together and we're gonna check that out. But before we do that, we're gonna check out what's in this big box and a couple of other things that I haven't shown you yet. So, let me get, let me, let me, let me, hold on. Set you down. I'm excited, been waiting on this for a week. And it, it'll, if you're following me on the other channel, the RV Homestead, channel you'll you'll understand this when i when i when i get it out of the box Whew, that's a styrofoam that's gonna make a mess all over the patio i'm sorry not patio Studio, all over my studio. My studio is going to be messy now. Up, oh, some assembly required. We're gonna be going into hyperlapse mode, so you watch me put this together really fast, and then we'll talk about it. So I'll find some cool tunes for you to, I'll use my circus music, my rodeo music.
if if you've been following on the other channel, you'll know that now I'm every Thursday, you know, every Thursday for the last several weeks, I have been posting cast iron Dutch oven cooking videos. And this this is the setup that I've been using. Well, I needed something a little better because hold on. I needed something better. And when the wind blows here, it, it blows through that. And, I, and I'm typically cooking here, and that accelerates the burn on the charcoal. And, and the other reason is I bought the big Lodge 14 big Dutch oven. And I, and I decided to go big for, for a number of reasons. There's some, there's some things that I've cooked in this big Dutch oven that I couldn't do in, in the smaller one. And I find myself, when I'm doing the Dutch oven cooking, I'm typically doing a couple of dishes. And, and I needed, I just needed, I just needed this. I just wanted this. And I, th I thought about building it myself, but after pricing the, a piece of steel that would do what I wanted this to do, just the piece of steel costs more than this, or as much as this. And then I would have to figure out the leg part of it, and then the, the wind break. So this was a better investment and saved me all that fabrication work. And it does exactly what I need it to do. And what's great about it, it's number one, it's portable. You saw, I can take the legs off. So I can take this on the road when we go on the road. It won't take up very much space. And when I bought this, I was kind of kind of thinking ahead. I, I got a, a sciatic a thing going on in my back. And sometimes when that flares up, bend, bending over just the slightest bit is pure agony. And with this, with the, the way the legs are structured on this, I can get three-quarter inch pipe and make it taller, make new legs. This is not a sponsored product. I, I researched and I, I reached out to them. They didn't respond, so I made the investment. And so far, 100% exactly what I wanted. Great price point. It does everything I need it to do. And if you're not familiar with the Lodge 14, that's a big Dutch oven. We can actually put a baking loaf, a bread pan in there and bake bread. Bread loaves, yeah. I'm excited about that. Been waiting all week for this. Now I've got to do some more Dutch oven cooking to show you how well it works. Oh darn, another Dutch oven cooking video for the other channel. So, I have a dish in mind, and, this, and I've, I've researched this, and it seems that no one has, has ever done this. I'm sure someone's done what I'm going to cook, but I can't find any reference anywhere using the, the ingredients. But we'll, we'll get to that. It's not going to be on this channel. You'll see me cooking on the table just so we can validate the table for Friday's finds. But if you want to see the food video, you've got to go to the other channel. And I'll, I'll put a link in the description and in the card up there so you can go over there and see. I got a whole playlist. It's, it's really starting to fill out. I'm really excited about that. All right. So it is Memorial Day weekend. I'll probably go to the store in the morning and pick up what I need to cook this dish that I have in mind uh, and we'll probably do some more bread. I need practice on cooking bread. Meanwhile, since this is Friday's finds and I gotta go find some ingredients and while I'm doing that, you're just gonna be sitting there twiddling your thumbs or you're gonna click away. Here are several items that I have found to be of interest through my Amazon influencer page. And the first one 
is the FXH. I'll actually put that in the in the description so that, that we get the name right. It is a it's a, a dog pin, a portable dog pin, portable. Uh, it, it works out really well, very stable. Got a couple drawbacks. One, it's, it's made out of steel, so it's kind of heavy and it takes up some space. But if you're like in a fifth wheel and you got the bed of the truck, you can, you can transport it. But it made Yappy very happy. So we'll check that out. Let's go do that, and I'll come back here. I'm ready for them puppies to show up. I'm out here in my 10 acre property. We've, we're, we're building a camp, our own campground, if you will. I have two little rat terriers. There are coyotes, big wild hogs, bobcats, and maybe even a panther in our locale here. So we don't want our babies just running loose. That's why we're excited about this portable dog pen. It is, it is the bomb. I've got it set up here by the, R, by the RV. The awning covers most of it, so when it starts raining, they got some protection while they got to take care of business. There's enough room we can get a little ball action going. But best of all, this is an expandable set. So I can add another one of these and have enough room for Tex to play ball. Unfortunately, he was supposed to be in this video, but he's got some, his back's hurting and, and his liver enzymes are out of whack. So he's at the specialist in the big city today. Uh, and I'm not gonna see him for a couple, couple days. Not till I get home, but we are ready. The next thing is to put down some artificial grass so that the dogs can play in style. I just, I love this fence panel set. It's so easy to assemble. It's durable enough that mama doesn't have to fear something getting in there unless it goes over the top. And that's not gonna happen. The gates are very secure. That is a great investment for the RV lifestyle. All right, y'all come back now, you hear? So there's the dog pen. We're very pleased with that and it's gonna serve us very well out there at Tranquility Base while we're, while we're getting permanent infrastructure in place. And we are coming into summer. And this next item is perfect for a long, hot weekend camping. So let's go check that out. Summer is almost here. I mean, just gonna be hot. I just watched a video that said this summer's gonna be real hot. We gotta stay cool down here in Texas. I, I, I'm excited that I've got the stand misting cooling system. Check this out, it's got 32 feet of misting line and three brass nozzles. Let's open it up, take a look, see what's in this box. Pretty straightforward. Start off with a valve, two nozzles, so we get two spares. That's good, because uh, the water here has a lot of calcium in it. And then we have, okay, so we gotta put some water in that. We have an instruction manual the valve. Let me read up on this, put it together, and we'll see how it works. There are three nozzles. The base, you fill that with water. Got a little plug right, right there. On off valve, and the stand is, is flexible, so. And, Lots of, lots of fine mist to keep you cool when it's hot. That's gonna come in really, really handy when we're camping this summer. That's gonna keep us cool. 
couple that with a little fan and man you got some you got a portable air conditioner I like it I like it a lot it feels good I like it a lot you'll like it too you know me I like them misters put a fan with that bad boy and you stay cool all of these products are found on Amazon and there'll be a link in the card as well as in the description below. I'm an Amazon influencer and that will, so that will take you to a shopping list that I've created, the Friday's Finds shopping list. So let's go check out our next item, which is more of a mechanical kind of nature. If you have an F-150, that's going to be of interest to you. The two-piece lug nuts are coming apart. Replacements. Solid. One piece. That's what they look like. Stick out just a little bit farther than the stock. They look a lot better. I like that look. I'm gonna go ahead and swap them all out on that one and we'll take a look at it. I'm very happy with that. They certainly were a lot less trouble than the OEM lug nuts. I had no idea there was such an issue with the Ford lug nuts until I had the truck in to get the tires rotated and they're like, well, yeah, we told you that last time. I says, no, you didn't tell me there was an you didn't tell me there was an issue with the lug nuts. They wanted, the, the repair shop wanted $27 a lug nut. <laughs> like, no, I, I could do that on my own. And that takes me into the other tools that I use to put those lug nuts on. So I'll give you a, two of those real quick. I'm just going to segue them. We're just going to go from one to the next i have to do some work on the the truck to change out my lug nuts on my ford and anymore my hands are just can't do that lug wrench anymore so <laughs> the Royby half inch impact driver we need a battery. There's a light right there. All we need is a socket. Yeah, that's awesome. I like it. And I know you will too. You want to see it work? That's just what I needed. I'm happy with that, and I know you will be too. The half inch drive metric impact socket set. It's from EP Auto, not Ep Auto. EP Auto. Let's take a look. We just need an impact driver. Let me go find an impact driver and I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Impact driver. Using the Royby half inch impact driver. Ow. Shall we see it in action? Go. 
just like that. I'm very happy with that. They certainly were a lot less trouble. So the Roy B half inch impact driver, I think that's a fantastic addition to my toolbox. It'll actually be a, a permanent, and when we go on the road, that's going with me. Got the hand stuff going on, and so getting those lug nuts off, either Trudy Thunder or White Lightning. I, I need that, both the lug nuts and the, the impact socket set. So now we need to, now we need to be doing some cooking on this table and we'll close it out. So I'm working with the new Dutch oven table and uh, this is everything that I had been wanting. This, this, I can't say enough. Well, I can say one thing I, did, I didn't like and that was the height. I'm six foot two, six foot three. I got sciatica stuff going on in my low back and bending over just a little bit can sometimes be absolutely agonizing but I found it very easy to adjust the height by using a, a wood dowel in there so I was able to make it disabled tall guy accessible for your average person that would probably be okay at you know 26 inches uh, that, that was that was I I wouldn't be able to work with these three Dutch ovens with that. Anyway, I highly recommend this this Dutch oven table. If you're do if you're into this Dutch oven cooking thing, yeah, you need a table. And I like this one. It was a value for the money. I could not buy a sheet of steel to set on a sawhorse for the amount that this is a good value. So what I'm trying to say is this is a good value and if you're looking for a table, this is a good one. Time to check the chicken. Oh, oh, oh you gotta see this. You gotta, you gotta see that. Look at how beautiful that is. Smells good too. So we, we cheated, we've already open and had. <laughs> mm. right, Let's hold. do that. First, we gotta set that off. Where are you gonna finish it? They're pretty good. They're fluffy, they're different, but they're good. They're, they are good. They're very light. <clears throat> Just hold this. I'm gonna need to put the camera down. Put the camera down, she says. How am I supposed to make videos? That brings us to the end of this video. Consider clicking on that subscribe button if you've not already. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. We truly appreciate the support. It helps way more than you know. And for those of you who have been following along, man, we're so grateful. Thank you. We're, we're happy that you bring us into your space. And for our patrons, we are so grateful. You guys rock! Alright, y'all come back now, you hear?